Well, there we go. We have got a real life application wired up using Angular 2. Now, admittedly, this application is very simple and it's not very feature complete. In fact, we've really just touched on the basics in this course. Now, there is a ton more to learn if we want to be proficient with Angular 2. These would be things like diving into TypeScript's language features, looking at Angular templates more in depth, and talking about things like directives and bindings. And then we would also want to go deeper into observables and look at the RxJS library in more detail. And of course, there are things like testing that we would also want to do to round out our application development. Now, since real-world applications aren't just limited to the client side, we would also want to talk about things like backends and databases and how to wire those up in an Angular application. And then going beyond just Angular, there are some really great tools out in the ecosystem that help with things like mobile and desktop development. So these would be technologies like Ionic and Electron. So if you're interested in going deeper with Angular, and if you want to learn more, I would highly recommend checking out the Angular docs at angular.io. One of the great things about Angular version 2 is the Angular team has done a great job with the documentation. So really, there's a ton you can learn just by reading the official docs. Now, if you would like to go beyond that, and especially if you are interested in screencasts, then I invite you to check out my site, angularcast.io. Over at AngularCast, we will dive deeply into these topics that we've just mentioned, so we'll get a really good sense of how to use Angular and all of the features around it. Plus, we'll talk about things like how to build an API for our application, how to deploy it, how to wire up a database, and we'll also look at things like application security, how to build a mobile application using Ionic, or a desktop application using Electron, and much, much more. So once again, if you are interested in getting hands-on end-to-end training for Angular, I invite you to check out angularcast.io. So that's just about it for this course. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and learned some new things. If you're on Twitter, say hi to me at Ryan Chanky and show me what you've built. And if you'd like to do some more learning at AngularCast, I will see you there.